Well, good morning, guys. I thought I'd adventure to a cemetery not too far from where I live. Just a 15 minute drive. And uh, I've never been here before. I've heard about it, I've read bits about it. And uh, the section that I'm at now appears to be very, very old. Some of the gravestones are that wind worn, you can't even read them. Watch this. <laughs> Totally faded away. Oh. Anywho, <laughs> I, uh, as I say, I've heard about this place. And uh, it's got a small section of World War I um, war graves, as well as regular residential. And it just luckily so it happens where I parked the car, short walk away, I found it relatively quick. And of course, I've gone the, the long way around. <laughs> I mean, try not to step on anybody's grave. Oh yeah, there it is. Of course, I've walked the long way around. This section here doesn't appear to be that old on this side, but in front of me, very old. Right. Wow. I did um, read that this place was quite small. You're not kidding. The cemetery is massive. But this section here It's tiny. Pi Private Smith, age 32, 39, look at that, wow. Private Smith, WG Smith, age 19, 19 years old, 17 year old, wow. And they all appear to be uh, English or British or... I don't know if I have any German soldiers here. Now these are all English as well. I sort of don't want to walk on the grass. I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. 
there is a lot of background noise from the traffic way over in the distance there so yeah I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave this part because um, I have a feel that just doesn't feel right for some reason but I'll take a wander up here Anywho, the reason I wanted to come here was because when I read about it, there was a woman, it's, this is dated back about four years ago now, so it's not too long ago really, but there was a woman that come to uh, visit a grave and uh, she saw three ghosts in this cemetery and I thought, I mean, I've I've googled the place, I've looked on YouTube, I've looked everywhere and there's not a lot of <coughs> there's not a lot of stuff going on um, paranormal wise nobody seems to have uh, that I gather done an investigation here um, so I thought, well, why not just come and have a look and, you know, I know. Now this section there, in front of me, looks fairly new. But this is a very old section. It seems to be all mixed bag, really. It's all um, old one side, new the other. Wow. This is very old. Man, look at the state of these graves. 1935. Wow. Look at that grave. There, that one's sinking. Sun's in the eyes, but I think that's his 1905. Man, some of these graves are in a real bad state. There's the noise, the culprit there, right ahead of me. Either the M6 or the M42. Should have gone the opposite way. Because <laughs> I'm on a hill. The other side would have been a little bit quieter. <coughs> Never mind. Anywho. I'm calling out for any spirits that are said to haunt this cemetery if you can and you want to communicate with me talk into this device I have in my left hand get yourself real close and talk let me hear your voice give me a name maybe it's your age Tell you what guys, <laughs> it is bloody freezing, as sunny and clear skies, it looks nice, but it's really cold, and uh, <coughs> it just makes the place feel real bleak, because it's, 
I've been into a lot of cemeteries over my years. Um, one of the best ones was Highgate in London. When I lived there, you have to pay to get in. I know. <laughs> Apparently it's the, the maintenance and stuff like that, but other cemeteries, you know, they can get by without that. But anyway, it was, used to be a pound to get in, but this has come back, I don't know, 1996. I googled it, it's about £4.50 to get in now. But it's real, I mean there's a lot of famous people in there. I don't know if there's anybody famous that are buried here. But, um, yeah, this is in a real bad state, this cemetery. I tell you, for uh, maintenance and stuff, the best cemetery I've been in is probably in my hometown. It's a cemetery and crematorium, and it's it's probably as big as this place. <coughs> but, um, I mean, there's a few old graves in there, you know, that are deteriorated, probably family members that are, don't exist anymore, and they're just left to the elements. But uh, the majority, it's kept pretty well. I mean, some of these are just ready to topple over. Some of them have. Take a little wander down here. You know, walking around the cemetery, I feel quite depressed. Just the state of the graves. I mean, wow. I've never seen a cemetery so bad. I mean, going back to Highgate in London, some of these graves are like, so compact, you can't even get to them. Nature's taken over. Sort of a bit like how these branches are like that, but you know, ten times worse. One toppled over grave. One nearly toppled over. One sinking grave. Also, most cemeteries I've been to are quite flat. This one's very, very hilly. Just seeing a, a grave down there with balloons on. I'm assuming that's a child. I don't know. Don't really want to sort of have a look if I'm honest. few maintenance people around here actually I don't know if you can see in the distance there where that little uh, flatbed is on the road there's a guy with a yellow hive is on and to the left of him there's a guy digging a grave 
I thought they used little uh, excavators these days, little mini ones. Digging a grave by hand. Yes, interesting. <laughs> what a bizarre cemetery I'm finding this is. We've even got toilets in this place. <laughs> There's a lot of bare potential grave plots over there. These graves here to my right, I'm seeing dates from the 70s, the 80s, and on this side, 1930s, can't even read them ones. Well, look how far down that grave, headstone and the one next to it, look how far down they've sunk. But yes, I'm calling out for any spirits that are alleged to um, haunt the cemetery. Come and talk to me. Leave uh, some voice messages on this device so I can listen back. That would be nice. Oi. 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 Even show yourself on this camera. I'd love to know where this woman saw the uh, spirit three times. I'd love to know what part. I mean, this place is massive. I could, I could probably spend most of the day here, right over the far back there, right over the other side of that church that goes downhill. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to this uh, war memorial section here. I know I'm cutting across, but I'm not walking on any graves. I don't do that, not intentionally. Okay, so, yes, I've just put my REM pod down and it's just gone off before I even had a chance to say anything. And in front of my REM pod, I've got my K2. Probably not the best angle because of the sun. And that REM pod's going mad. 
So, any spirits here? Is it possible you could show yourself next to that device you're setting off? Man, that's gone mental. Come away from the device and approach this one here with the lights. Can you make the lights go up from green to yellow, orange or red? Well, it's stepped away. This device here Come on, make the lights go up to red. Talk to me in this device here. Can you show yourself? It's gone quiet again. Can you set that device off again? The one that was beeping. Can you do it again? Doesn't want to play. This device in my hand, can you make the lights go up please? Got a little spike there. Can you do that again? Can you make the lights go up? Orange, red? Oh, making a funny noise. I'm wondering if that little beeping noise, because it's never made that noise before, I wonder if that's just an indication if it's telling me I need to change the batteries. And would you know, my batteries are at home. Might not be the batteries, I just don't know. Come on, this device in my hand. Please make the lights flicker. Go on, take it a red. What about if I stand over here? You were setting the REM pod off before a lot. Let's try something else. Well guys, I'll put the Spirit Talker app on. You never know. I've also put a cat ball in front of the REM pod. So, any spirits around here? That ball, if you move that ball, it will light up. Just like when you touch the REM pod, it'll start bleeping. Record. Record or record? Yes, I'm recording. Gonna show yourself. Gonna show yourself. Gonna show yourself. Gonna show yourself. Are there any spirits from World War One?
that wish to communicate with me. Maybe you want to show yourself on this camera. Stand right in front of me on that grass. Candle. Candle. I don't see candles. Maybe there's plenty of candles in that church. Well, that REM pod's gone real quiet Choice. now. Unless anything is recorded on this uh, camera, it's gone very quiet. And the Spirit Talker app doesn't appear to be have any uh, relevance to uh, what I'm doing or where I am. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, I think it's a very quiet one today, guys. You don't always get what you want. And sometimes you get it when you don't expect it. Well, after saying that on the app, it's just said, be careful what you wish for. I wish for you to communicate with me and show yourself to me. Or if you cannot show yourself to me, maybe you can show yourself on my camera here. As a black crow flies over. Oh, there's another one. Creepy. <laughs> right, everything's gone all quiet now. Spirit Talker app's gone quiet. Cat ball hasn't even gone off. And the REM pod doesn't want to play anymore. How weird.
guys. I think it's been a very quiet one. I reckon this place will be pretty creepy in the dark. I mean, most cemeteries would be anyway, wouldn't it, I guess. But this one is very old. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go home. I'm going to make myself a nice hot cup of coffee. Get under me electric blanket for a bit. <laughs> get myself warmed up and psych myself up to go and do a bit of shopping. So, anywho, thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Something different. I will have to have a look to see if there's any other cemeteries in this particular area. And maybe go there next time. So, uh, yeah, take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, don't forget, give the video a like. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.